T on the rims and the burn boat. All right, Trap Squad, y'all already see what time it is. You got that high wing on that C8. All red thing with the black rims and the red Corvette burn boats. Only got 1,200 miles on this bad boy. It's 2021. You can't see the motor from here. It's enclosed because it got that that top right there. But still, it's, it's crazy how you put this top in the trunk. Got the cream seats in this bad boy. Got the heated seats and all that good stuff. Damn. It ain't open, so we can't look at the inside. But this bad boy is small. Nice and compact, but you know OG can fit up in there. Sensors in the front. You see the carbon fiber. This bad boy is a beast. It's like my third time seeing one in person. The last time I seen one was a few months ago at Orlando Classics down by Magic Small when CJ on 32s brought his C8. You know what I'm saying? With that exclusive paint job he got on there from PC Customs. Got the carbon fiber right there too. That thing nasty. I was like so compact and small. It don't even look as big as it does when you look at it on video. Just thought I'd show y'all real quick. That thing hard. They got this thing over here. They got this RT. This looked like a 2011 or something like that. It looked like it's sitting on some folds. Some nice thick thighs on this bad boy. Some 22s. This look compact too. I don't know if it must be my contacts or what's going on. Yes, yeah, it's 2014. They put Hot Wheels on it. So you got an RT right here. I caught this joint. Got the sunroof. It's all red. You know what I'm saying? I wonder how much they want for this. 77,000 miles. That's a lot, my guy. Ooh. Challenger right there. Got the aftermarket G. Sorry. Got the aftermarket JVC radio on there. I know y'all can't see it because the glare of the light. There we go. Got the carbon fiber right there. Got the wheel lock. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's a six-speed. You know, I can't do nothing with that. Got that old-school Dodge Challenger steering wheel. I love these leather seats, man. It's pretty clean for a 14. Twos on there. They got a lot of whips. I don't think we're going to be out here to look at a lot of whips out here today. I'm just trying to show y'all the exclusive. I know y'all ain't seen me do a video in a few weeks. So I'm over here at Dodge Chrysler trying to get it together, trying to show y'all a little something, something real quick. Y'all got to excuse my beard, you know what I'm saying? Wearing these masks, you really forget to keep up. Because normally, you know, I keep up with this. But right now, I'm in front of the SRT Durango. Let's check this out, y'all. As you can see, this is the SRT Durango. We're at Greenway right now. Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram. I like this bad boy right here. This is a 392. I love the hood scoop. Definitely love the Rams. Love the Brembo's. See this one open? Okay. Man, what year is this? And why it got cracks in the seat already? Somebody did not take care of the leather, man. It's a lot better on this side. And the other seat, but as you can see, them things cracking. Boy, I don't think that's... I don't think that's the detail we was trying to pay attention to. But as you can see, it has SRT right there in the seats. I love the craftsmanship. You see how it's black and then it's, it's burgundy. I love that. Got that. Like I say, man, it's that updated steering wheel. Got a little bit of carbon fiber right here. My bad. Got a little bit of carbon fiber right there. Love the SRT steering wheel. Got the paddle shifters. My wife got the paddle shifters in her Sonata. Yes, sir. Nice and clean. Not too bad of a screen. It could be a little bit better. Got the SRT mode. Got the launch mode in here. Got the beat sound system. Got the different, you know, seat configurations. I do that in my whip. Got the SRT door pillar. Yes, sir. 
I'm sorry, hold on. If y'all didn't notice, they got a sunroof. And then they also got all that ventilation back there. So this is a three rows, my guy. My dad, when he had this, this 2005, he had the same option. He had the three rows in his. Came in handy because we got a lot of family members, got a lot of kids in the family. This one don't have the TVs in the back, but it's all good. Say Dodge right there. See, they got one seat folded down. I caught this, though. I just feel like it's not enough arm room right here when they make these, but that's how they do it. Somebody over there getting real loud with it. I love how the pipes point down. This bad boy wicked. I'm going to take you over there to the Wagner. As you can see, we got another C8 over there. Yes, sir. Another Corvette over there. Got the Rams. Got the Chrysler. I've seen undercover police in this. Yeah, buddy. See, they got the white one. I think I showed y'all the white one last time, right? Of the Wagoneer, man. It's a $100,000 truck right here, man. See, that one don't got the sensors all the way around the bumper, but it does have sensors. This one got sensors on the side. But I love the I love the paint selection. It's like tan, and then it got black trim. Well, it got black bumpers with the chrome trim. Say so switch it up on this one. I'm telling you, this looks just like a Tahoe. They ain't open this bad boy, but it's nasty. It's wicked on the inside, yo. It's wicked on the inside. That's all I can tell you. This is the Quad Ra Drive 2. So I guess this is a different one because I don't think it's the same. It's a Quad. Oh, see, this is a Quadra Track 2. It's a Series 3. This is a Series 1. So they got different series. Like it's a whole different package. Dang, they ain't open none of these bad boys up so you can check them out. But it's all right, though. I don't know if y'all can see on the inside. It's too dark right now. So I'm going to just show y'all what they doing, though. They got the white one. I love this one. They need to do something with them Tahoe rims, man. We see what y'all doing. They got the all black one. See, you got the foot rails that don't come out. Let me show y'all how much this car. This one called 81000 It's not bad. And they got a lot of them in stock. But like I said, y'all ain't about to be out here all day. I do got to go to work. But, you know, I couldn't help but to drop another video for you guys. I've seen C8s. i seen the Rangos. They don't got the Hellcat the Rangos. They had a few last time. In my, I put them in my video the last time I came here. But they all out. People been buying whips like crazy. But as you can see, they got this Porsche over here. The wing does come up. You saying that's that wing that come up. Got that Porsche K men. That's that 2015. They sound it as is. All white. Automatic. With the manual transmission. That thing look nice and spacious. But that's not the one I like. And you got this one right here. See, this one look more like the one CJ32 guy. He got that same wing on here. They got the grain calibers right there, black rims, all white. And closed, too, you can't see the engine. I like it when you can see the engine, but it's all good. It's a 2022. This is the latest model. I think they switched it up from the 21. So, like I said, I'm just giving y'all a little walk around real quick, a little walk through. This one does have the white seats to match. So, they switched it up. Everybody else be having it. 17,000 miles, you get 16 miles per gallon in city 24 on the highway. You really can't, you know, you really gonna burn a lot of gas, but you know what? It's all good. See, they don't want to keep these bad boy open because they know people be stealing cars. Oh, just when I said they didn't have any more Hellcat Durango, somehow I couldn't see past. The Corvette, the C8 Corvette, they got so many, right? They got two of them. 
And then they got all these Wagoneers, man. Y'all need to come out the Greenway and come get you some. But they, because I was looking at the rims, I was like, oh, man, they got the rims and the burn boat. you know it's the new one? It's 2021. They started putting SRTs on the brim boats, so that's hard. This one is actually open, so I can actually show you what I'm talking about, because the last one didn't have the same options. So you got the SRT with the Hellcat, red seats. You see how this one ain't cracked? You can tell nobody, nobody hopped in this thing and wore it out yet. But see how I caught But yeah, man. See, this one got the big screen, man. It's 2022, man. If you don't got a big screen in your whip, man, it's something wrong. And you can also charge your phone wirelessly right here. Got the SRT mode. Got the launch mode and everything else. I definitely love the instrument cluster. I don't know if you can see it, but it was lighting up red. Got the chrome paddle shifters. Like I say, this thing brand new. Still got the plastic in it, man. And you know one thing, man, when you cop these whips, you never take the plastic off the screen, man. You let the person that buys it do all that. And see, they don't have the beast in this one. They got that top of the top of the top of the line. They got the Harman caught on. If I said it right, they also got the white stitch in here with the black leather. And this one right here is going for 92000 But base price is 80000 But all in total, this is a Durango SRT Hellcat all-wheel drive. Again, you see the Hellcat right there. There's no cap. I would cop this. You see the Hellcat in the grill. See these two right here? I cop these and call the wrap. All right, we outside. There's another wagon there out here. As I was leaving, I noticed one of the dudes at the front desk. I said, good morning. He ain't say nothing to me. He just looked back down at his desk. It's things like that, man. And that well mattered, man. That's rude. But we're going to let it slide. Like I say, I'm on my way to the prison. I just had to show y'all what they got. It's OG and I'm out. And I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Because this is what I do, man. I do it for y'all, man. It's fire everywhere, man. Not in a bad way. But it's fire like It's fire whips everywhere. So take advantage, man. Wear hard, man. Anything's possible as long as you apply yourself. It's so like I say, again, this is Life with OG. Make sure you like, you subscribe to the channel, and you share this video. And we're going to keep leveling up. And i like to thank everybody that has subscribed to my channel, that I reached out to. I appreciate you more than you know. And we're going to keep leveling up, y'all. Let's get it.